And this never, this didn't always happen, right? I mean, it seemed like there was a moment in our history, I guess it was the 80s, when our economy changed, or at least on right. that level. Right, and from, he was very symbolic of that change. Not just symbolic, but right. part of it, right? I mean, right. this is the Gordon Gecko. remember that term, leveraged buyouts. Right. And you're right to point out, leverage means debt, it's a euphemism. People right. hear it, they don't think it's evil, but it's debt. Right, right, exactly. And, and it went from a time when people, like, made stuff, and yes, Wall Street companies invested in things, but they bet on winning. Right. To right. where we got to the point where we're not really betting on winning, because Bain didn't care if the company failed or not, right? Right, exactly. And he's very emblematic of that, even within his own family. I mean, his father, George Romney, was a classic sort of American corporate leader who was, who was interested in making money, obviously, but he also deeply cared about the community that he, you know, where his businesses operated. I mean, he, he was so worried about Detroit and some of the people, the neighborhoods where his workers lived. That was what prompted him to get into, into politics. But there's this new generation of business leaders, especially on Wall Street, which is what I cover, that just don't have that sense of noblesse oblige. They don't have that sense of an obligation to a community. They think that the act of making lots of money is an, is an act of social good all in itself. Uh, and that's, that's what Mitt Romney really represents. He's sort of, he's, he is, he's a kinder, gentler version of Gordon Gecko. I mean, not only did he have, does he have exactly the same job as Gordon Gecko, he, he's a leveraged buyout guy, uh, but he really embl uh, emblemizes this, this greed is good ethos uh, where, you know, I, I made a lot of money and that's my so, uh, contribution to society.